few years back, I came across a very unusual song. It was uh, based on a bunch of old letters that had been passed down in the family of a man called Peter Jones, who lives down around Washington, D.C. And he made the song from these letters. They were from a family in Ireland, to members of that family who had emigrated here to America shortly after uh, the famine times in Ireland in the 1840s. And they were very tough times. And the song in the form of these letters chronicles a family over a period of years and gives you a real sense of what it was like in those days. And it was very unusual once people had come out here to America for them to go back. And I'm sure that most of you here who have Irish ancestors can most likely trace it back to that era. And they say something like 12 million people left Ireland between 1845 and the turn of the century. But the song really captures the spirit of those times and the loss, the separation that they felt. The family lived in a small village in the west of Ireland in County Mayo, which is still there, a little place called Kilkelly. Kilkelly, Ireland, 18 and 60, my dear and loving son John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster Pat McNamara, so good as to write these words down. Your brothers have all gone to find work in England. The house is so empty and sad. The crop of potatoes is sorely infected. A third to a half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. Your mother says not to work on the railroad be sure to come on home soon Kill Kelly Ireland 18 and 70 my dear and loving son John Hello to your missus and to your four children and may they grow healthy and strong Michael has got in a wee bit of trouble I suppose that he never will learn Because of the dampness there's no turf to speak of and now we have nothing to burn And Bridget is happy you named a child for her Although she's got six of her own You say you found work But you don't say what kind Or when you will be coming home Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 80, dear Michael and John, my sons, I'm sorry to give you the very sad news that your dear old mother has gone. We buried her down at the church in Kilkelly. Your brothers and Bridget were there You don't have to worry, she died very quickly Remember her in your prayers And it's so good to hear that Michael's returning With the money he's sure to buy land for the crop has been poor and the people are selling at any price that they can. Kill Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 90, my dear and loving son John. I suppose 
that I must be close on eighty. It's thirty years since you've gone. Because of all of the money you sent me, I'm still living out of my own. Michael has built himself a fine house, and Bridget's daughter to grow and thank you for sending your family picture I love the young women and men you say that you might even come for a visit what joy to see you again My dear brother John I'm sorry I didn't write sooner to tell you That father passed on He was living with Bridget She says he was cheerful And healthy right down to the end I should have seen him playing with the grandchildren of Pat McNamara, your friend. And we buried him alongside of mother down at Kilkelly churchyard. He was a strong and a feisty old man. Considering his life was so hard And it's funny the way he kept talking about you He called for you at the end Oh, why don't you think about coming to visit We'd all love to see you again 